in here are afraid of anything tonight. Mm, that's good. Well, today I came to encourage you and to remind you that God has given you more than enough courage. Yes. As a matter of fact, God says in his word that he has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. And I think that some of us need to let that sink in tonight. You know, what do you, what do you need more courage for tonight? For me, it took courage for me to stand up here in front of you tonight, and I had to let that sink in. I didn't just tell myself I had courage. I had to believe the promises of God over my life. I had to believe what he says about me. And I think that if we begin to believe what God says about us and understand what he says, then we can begin to act differently on the outside than we feel on the inside. Amen. And I call that faith over feeling. So today I like to look at... Um, the call on my friend Joshua's life and see how God encouraged him as he was about to face the unknown. So um, I'm gonna read from Joshua chapter one, verses one through nine, it says, after the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant. He said, Moses, my servant is dead. Therefore, the time has come for you to lead these people, the Israelites across the Jordan River into the land that I am giving them. I promise you what I promised Moses. Wherever you set foot, you will be on land that I have given wow. you. Yes. From the Negev wilderness in the south to the Lebanon mountains in the north, from the Euphrates River in the east to the Mediterranean Sea in the west, yeah. including all the land of the Hittites. No one, everybody say with me, no one. No, no one. one would be able to stand against you as long as you live. For I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. Be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left, and then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so that you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I have three quick points for you tonight. Mm. The first one is God qualifies the call. Yeah. So before Moses had died, the Lord told him to present Joshua as the leader over all the Israelites. And I don't know if Joshua really uh, felt that until we get to chapter one where it says, Moses, my servant, is dead. Yeah. And so now Joshua goes from leading maybe thousands of people to leading millions of people. And I think it's important to note that Moses was not the one who appointed Joshua. Neither was he appointed by popular vote, but it was God that had chosen him. And it wasn't that Joshua was afraid. Well, Joshua may have been afraid, I don't know, but I think that God was gonna go ahead and encourage him in the spirit because he was about to step into the unknown. And so Moses had been a great leader in but God was now calling Joshua. God said, I'm looking for you. And up until this point, here's Joshua's resume. So he had already led the Israelites into battle against the Amalekites. So he was a commander in God's army. He had already been one of the 12 spies who had searched out the land of Canaan. And he was only one of two who actually on, believed Sarah. that they could conquer the land. He had been one of 70 that God had poured his spirit out upon. And so the same spirit that was upon Moses was now upon Joshua. And he had been Moses' apprentice for 40 years. And so no, Joshua's resume did not look like Moses' resume. But God said, I'm not looking for the next. I'm not looking for Moses. I'm looking for what I gave you, what I called you to. And I think that's what God is saying to us today. He said, I'm not looking for the next. I'm not looking for the next Joyce Meyer. I'm not looking for the next Billy Graham, the next Ryan Buffett, the next Steve Jobs. I am looking for you and what I called you for. He said, you do not see it. I am creating a new thing. And he wants to do a new thing for you. And, and it doesn't matter if that person has a resume that's 10 feet long. It doesn't matter if that person can do it better than you. If God has called you to it, he's going to pave your way and he will be That's it. Point number two, wherever you go, his presence is there also. That's true. Verse number nine says, this is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord is with you wherever you go. I don't know about y'all, but I get a little bit more confident knowing that God is with me. The one who's never lost a battle is with me wherever I go. And he told Joshua not once, 
not twice, but three times in verses one through nine alone to be strong and courageous. And y'all, if God says something that's important, but if he says it three times, it tells me that I better not miss what he's saying. So not only does it tell me that God goes with me, it tells me that he goes before me. See, what he was doing was encouraging Joshua in the spirit. And he already knew what obstacles Joshua was going to face. He knew um, that he, he didn't want him to look left and he didn't want him to look right. He said, you focus on me. And I think that sometimes what we start doing, we start looking to the left and we start looking to the right. And then we start feeling like we're inadequate. But God said, if you focus on me. He said, you know, don't compare yourself with people who are operating only in the gift because sometimes people don't use the gift for what God gave it to them. If God calls you to that thing, he will be with you and his anointing will be there. And how many of you know that the anointing will get you way further than the gift alone? As one of my favorite speakers, Christine Keynes, puts it, she said that a gift is good, a gift can entertain people, but Isaiah 10 and 27 says it is the anointing that breaks guilt and trains and bondages. So what is it that God is calling you today that you need to go ahead and get done? People's lives depend on what you have. Yes. What do you have that someone needs that your fear is just holding hostage? Wow. Wow. Sometimes people don't even know what they need until you present it to them. I just look at the woman at the well. I just look at the woman at the well. Point number three is the promised land is on the other side of your fear. Fear is one of the greatest tools of the enemy, and I'm a witness to that because fear kept me in my tracks yeah. for 10 whole years. Now, and some of you might say, well, at least I'm not going backwards, but let me tell you, the devil doesn't care if you're not moving backwards. The only thing he cares about move. if you're not moving yeah. forward. Yeah. 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 What, what are you really doing? No. So sometimes when I get afraid, I try to push a little bit harder because yeah. I say, you know, I know God didn't create me with the spirit of fear, but okay, if it didn't come from God, it's got to come from my enemy. And sometimes oh, you just know that you need to know the tactic of your enemy. Yeah. So I say, I'm yeah. going to figure out what it is. What, what are you trying to keep me from? And the thing he's trying to keep me from is the promise over my life. Yeah. And so one thing I am reminded of is that God will use that time. God used my time of stagnation. Two and a half years ago, I didn't even believe in God. And now when I told, I chose to give God a yes, and I chose to not be fearful and give him a yes, he has used that time. God has propelled me into doing the work of his kingdom. And that's what God will do to you if you just give him your yes today. If you just give him your yes today. So today, I encourage you to move forward. Stand on the promise of God, and he will be with you always. Yeah. <laughs>